What do you think, Dick? New competition, same success? Let's hope so, because the loser gets to watch from the stands after this third round game between the Colorado State Rams and the Xavier Musketeers. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Musketeers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Finally, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Number five comes up with it. He shoots from long range. He makes the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Down inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of play. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Number four takes the feed. Number 32 with the foul. First team foul. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With the fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Go into the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Number 30, pump fakes for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Barry's at home. Trying to feed the low block. Jumps into the defender. Number four makes the finger roll. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby.
in the paint. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He does the sweet fake shot. Jump hook from the low block. And off the mark. Spacing. Goes up for two. And in and out. Dump it inside. The power forward gets the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Roll that one back. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I took a chance, and he lost, baby. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Scorches the net. Both teams looking to get things going here. Jump hook from the low post. The Musketeers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brady's on fire. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Turnaround jumper. The Musketeers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Oh, what a strip, Brad. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Number one has got the fans roaring and applauding. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice shot. On the inside for the bucket, drains it. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. On the dribble, gives it up. Number one is eager and excited to compete. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Picked off. Pushes it up. Easy two coming here. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Turns it over. The point guard takes the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron.
the center with and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number 24 is charged with the foul. First team foul. He'll go to the line. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Hits his second. It in. Leans in, drops the bucket despite the harm. The power forward gets the ball. Looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Double team now, bad angle. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Gave it up on the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Can't get the shot to drop. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Got them in nylon, NBN. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Up and inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. With a great block. Set that screen away. Picks off the lazy pass. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. At the free throw line. Misses the first shot. Second shot is no good. The fake. Good fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. You're talking about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. High screen from the baseline, way off target. And working around the perimeter in the paint. Xavier are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to go. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Number 24 grabs it. 
He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Puts it on the floor and up and under. In and out. They're working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. Looking for contact. That's an 8 nothing run. Takes the shot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Sets the screen for his teammate. Great shot. And they come with a double team to stop it. Moving it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. They move it into the front court. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Cross court. He's got some room. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he misses the shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Look at this effort! He shoots from right of the circle. Tickles a twine. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Nice pass. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. For the bucket. He can't get the J to go, despite running off the nice screen. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes it away. Go, go, go. 
There's the trap. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. And he'll kick it back outside. There he is, strips the ball loose. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. In the paint. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking for a good shot. He dials long distance. He hits it. The replay's not even enough for this one. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. screen basket falls despite the contact time to pick up the defense here now I tell you the jump look so effective especially against a big post player very difficult to block that shot fakes it he pump fakes executes the baby hook doesn't go Blocked. With anticipation defensively. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, lad. Very important. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Got some room from the top of the key. Sinks the shot. <laughs> in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. Number 54 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Gets two at the charity strike. Momentary look from three-point land. Defenders right up on him. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he missed. Tries for two. What should they do here, Dick? Let us call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. 
Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jump hook from the low block. They still don't score. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket, and in and out. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. At the end of the first half, the Rams are behind by 15. Xavier is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving a rock. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Fake executes the baby hook. In and out. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a high screen for two. And he scores despite the hack. Stolen ball. They get out on the break. Trying to draw the foul. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dumps it in. In the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He launches a three. Goes in. Great defense. Jumps into the defender with a layup. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He misses it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Xavier are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes up for two. He forces another bad shot. But is that all you win ball games, Mr. Nestler? He intercepts it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He may be in trouble here. He's got a nice shot fake. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. For two. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. In the paint. Number 21 draws the personal. 
Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line. First one, good. Gets the second shot. Intercepted. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. On the outside. Intercepted. This should be an easy bucket. Trying to draw some contact. Finger roll. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses the three. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. He goes to the line for the first time. He got it. They scored nine in a row. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Way off target. The shooting guard handles the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Look at that spacing. Nice high post screen. Ball goes out of play. Dick has that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. High post flashes. Off the lazy pass. The center receives the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Number 31 is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. I hate to see a young man struggle like this. Steals a pass. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Picked out of the air. The point guard receives the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Uh, 
on the inside. Tries for for the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. The Musketeers have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Picks off the pass. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Is shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. Wow, look at him rotate over. He misses it. Goes up for two. He hits the shot. The Rams trail by nine. Steals the pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. Number 24 makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's pick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He is going to the line. He hits it. Makes his second shot. The Musketeers lead by 11. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Steal. Little jam right there, the one hand jam and stump. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The small forward handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Shoots it. Off the mark with that shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. There's the pick. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Launches the three. He gets the shot to fall. shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick. I tell you doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. My goodness. Players these days in the athleticism 
basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Thanks, Aaron. Ten seconds to get it off. Can't get the shot to go. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. He lets it go. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He puts it up. Oh, he got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Gave it up. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass he dials long distance buried it they scored 10 in a row Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a double team waiting there. Gets it back out. He hits it. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dump it inside. He launches the bomb. He doesn't get the hook. with the theft. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. They'll work it around the arc. He intercepts it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Stop and pop. Gets it to go. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nice rebound. Way to come out with the ball and push it up the court. They need to get out and run their lanes now.
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That spin move's not going to work. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Here's a double team. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Goes for the deep one. Rims out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He pump fakes. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. This shot rejected. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. And he missed. Side. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. And a momentary look from three-point land. High post screen. So effective that screen. with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Goes up for two. Rims out. Tries for two. Moving it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc. And he can't hit the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. He's money with a shot. the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot on the outside. Looking for a good shot. The fans start to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? That's basic. Dump it inside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the arc. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number it's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses it. He takes the rebound. 
All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The Musketeers makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.